Hello boys and girls, as we have here the music for 2021 special YouTuber. I will be talking about the fighting and the drama that has been going on in the Goliath slash beard community and on YouTube. Let's begin. Alright, that is going way too far in the Goliath slash beard community and on YouTube. I've been noticing too much fighting and drama going on in the Goliath slash beard community and on YouTube. They use their cyberbully than other users and make too much cyberbullying videos out of the other users just because the users dislike the other users instead of ignoring them. Just because the user dislikes another user, it doesn't mean that the user can cyberbully another user and make cyberbullying videos out of another user. Cyberbullying users and making too much cyberbullying videos out of other users can make the situations worse. It can get their accounts terminated for violating YouTube's community guidelines and someone could get arrested for cyberbullying people on the internet. The users make too much criticism videos about the other users. I mean, I know that the criticism videos are just for advice purposes and to help users improve. But the problem with doing too much criticism videos about the users is that usually a user will deny the criticism and cause online shaming against other users, but I don't think that it will even make the situation better but to increase drama. However, doing little amounts of criticism videos are just perfectly alright as long as they shouldn't cause any drama on YouTube. Some users think that deleting or privating stuff is to avoid criticism, but it's not even true. Users have the right to delete stuff to avoid trauma, due to issues, when no longer necessary, etc. Not to avoid criticism and disabling the ratings doesn't just mean that a user can't tolerate dislikes. That's why some people have left the criticism group and are never in the criticism group. Good thing I did little or no criticism videos on my YouTube channel because if I did too many criticism videos, then it will just make the situations worse. Some users have been saying that perverts and pedophiles are meant to be taken seriously which they thought it meant to cyberbully them and make cyberbullying videos out of them. But actually, it doesn't even mean that they should be cyberbullied and too much cyberbullying videos being made out of them. The reason why they shouldn't be cyberbullied is because it will make the situations worse, it will cause too much drama, may increase more sexual harassment on the internet. And someone could get arrested for cyberbullying perverts and pedophiles. The users should be more careful on how they take perverts and pedophiles seriously. Just because I said that perverts and pedophiles shouldn't be cyberbullied, it doesn't even mean that I'm supporting them nor defending them. But, what the actual heck is even wrong with some of those users? The users are just making the Goliath slash band community on YouTube a better place for crying out loud. Jeez, they are just a waste of time to cyberbully perverts and pedophiles and the perverts and pedophiles are meant to be taken seriously term is not an excuse for users to cyberbully them. There is actually a difference between cyberbullying and taking someone or something seriously. Cyberbullying means the use of electronic communication to bully a person. Typically by sending messages of an intimidating or threatening nature while taking someone or something seriously means regard someone or something as important and worthy of attention. Good thing I've never cyberbullied any perverts and pedophiles in my life and I'm never going to because I know that it won't make things any better. But they want to get the perverts and pedophiles off their mind, either they can possibly call the police on them, they can just block or report them. Or they can just mark inappropriate videos as not interested like how I mark inappropriate videos as not interested instead of wasting their time bullying the perverts and pedophiles. The entire cancel culture thing has been making the Goliath slash beyond community and YouTube a bad place because the users keep bringing up the other users' past. I mean, I understand that the past is history and the things done in the past can't be erased. But the problem with users keep bringing up other users' past is that they can increase fighting and drama and make the situations worse. Oh my flipping goodness. All of the fighting and the drama happening in the Goliath slash beyond community and on YouTube are giving me headaches and making me hardly focus on other things. 
That's why I will never be able to dislike users drum and will always stay the heck out of the dislike users drum. Good in 2021 and some users already did cause some fighting and drama in the Collaborate slash VM community which that shouldn't have happened. I really wish for the fighting and drama to stop and make the Collaborate slash VM community and YouTube a way better place without way too many fighting and drama and nobody should ever tell me to be. Involved in any fighting and dramas at all. This is me, Matthew the Music Fan 2021, signing off.